What is up everyone, Vlathis here, and Final Fantasy XIV has made a few more updates to the patch 4.1 website, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and go over those. So they've added some more photos here for Return to Ivalence, so I believe we've already seen this one. I don't believe they showed this one before. This is They're showing this one here. I believe that's new. This is definitely new. This is a better preview of a boss here. They're saying that it might be Prima Vista. I think that might be what the bo boss is here. And it's going to be in a theater. And then this is another image here. I wasn't originally going to cover this, but I found out that they updated the website itself. They were doing some photos. And then they updated, they added the Unending Boils of Bahamut. And this, of course, is the final boss of Tier 9. Here, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I know it starts with Noel. And then they're talking about the adventure squadrons here. They're called command missions. So they have Hatali, the Thousand Maws of Todorok, Brave Fox Longstop, Stone Vigil, and the Wondrous Palace. And they all have their own levels. You can pick your group, which right here looks like the first one is your character and has your gear score. So as we can see here, they have the Conjurer set to defensive and the Marauder and the Lancer set to independent. They also have mastery stacks here. It doesn't look dependent on level, although they are level sync, so we're not sure here. But each of them have a master. It doesn't say what it is, but you can increase the level cap and an option to glamour your squad's equipment and to impress the higher ups and make a name for your grand company. And then they have example of the mission complete. Looks like two unique rewards there. And it says balance tact tactic mastery of three. And then this is an example of a boss fight. I think that's a Final Fantasy character, not the squadron. And then here it is. And that you have separate orders here. So you have an engage, I'm guessing a retreat, and some other kind of command there. And then we have some other updates. There we go. Oh. So new mounts, so we're getting a flying chair of some sort. I'm trying to see. Okay, and then new minions here. Oh, there's some scrolling here. So actually we're getting a few mounts. So we have the new version of the wolf here. Obviously this is gonna be with Shinryu. And then we have some an enemy that we've had in game here. It's an actually quite a little adorable mount, especially with a little Lollafell here holding onto the stock. I'm not sure how that's going to work with other classes, unless it enlarges. And then it has new minions. So we have, I believe he's the prince. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. And we have a, a what is it called? <laughs> Is the dog that they use for the Doge meme? I feel like I remember what it's called, but I can't remember off the top of my head. And obviously we have a koala bear here. Is it an Eva? No, I'm missing something. And then we have new hairstyles. Very Eastern inspired hairstyles. And new emotes here. So you can warm up with Fist of Furies with Box. Oh, so it's called Box. And then... And then versatile um, converse and then they're talking about the cross world friends so now you can have friends across servers but they can only be on the same data center and perform so this is the move that they've been talking about where the bard pulls out an instrument and can play actual notes on that and it says right down here patch for 4.15. I'm wondering if it's the perform in the cross world servers. I don't know if that applies to the hairstyles or the mounts. Personally, I'm not sure. Unless one of these mounts is linked to PvP, then the first two. I could see that being delayed till patch 4.15, but other than that, I'm not sure why we have that down below. And with the emotes and stuff like that, to me, they seem like they could be something that could be implemented. So let me know in the comments what of these additions are you looking forward to. The command missions look very interesting. It'll be nice to actually be using my squadron very regularly and also having the ability to customize them 
It's one of the things that I do enjoy about this game is the level of customization. It doesn't usually apply just to me, but everything that I have in the game or anything that's remotely like a side character. So, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please like, don't forget to share this video, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated. And once again, it's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.